Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all had a wonderful week. And today's video is going to be giving is going to be me giving you all a haul on all the makeup that I have in my collection as well as what I use to take my makeup off and keep my skin looking healthy and flawless. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So as you can see, this is all the makeup I have, which is a really not a lot compared to other YouTubers or beauty gurus, but this is definitely more than I need considering that I'm not an expert in doing makeup. So um, I'm just going to open the, pop the lid open. The first thing I have here is this Mary Kay um, signature kit. It had a lipstick, I don't know where that is, and it has a blush highlight and contour thing in here and there was a blush at the bottom but this palette dropped and the blush fell out and broke which was very devastating the next thing i have is this pure cosmetics contour collection as you have seen before because i use it in my videos when i feel so the next thing i have here are these brushes that you saw in my amazon haul i actually used one of them today to apply um, an eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill dupe that you also saw in my Amazon um, haul. I used it to apply the eyeshadow that I have on my lids right now. And I do like this brush, but I am not too happy with the eyeshadow. But I am definitely using this brush, these brushes. And I have a lot of brushes. This is a brush thing from Mary Kate and Ashley, as you can see, um, none of the brushes are in here but three, and that's okay because all of them are at the bottom of this large container. So the next thing I have is a, another brush set from BH Cosmetics. Of Like I just said, all my brushes are at the bottom of the bucket, but this was a whole brush kit, and I've had this for three years now, and it is really time for me to get new brushes, which is why I bought the ones from Amazon. So one thing I have in here, it's not makeup, but it is essential for your makeup. This is a brush cleansing kit from Sephora, um, just a miniature traveling one. And this is what I use to clean my brushes. So the next thing I have is this Impress You Beauty Glazed um, Morphe dupe for the Jack and Hill palette. And it looks like this and you would have seen it if you watched my Amazon haul so go watch it right now I use this green eyeshadow right here to apply to my lids um I did not like it very well because number one it was hard to blend out number two they look chalky and I don't like that about the eyeshadows, I like creamy eyeshadows. Like I said in the Amazon haul, I only got this to practice. So it is a dupe and you have to be um, careful with dupes because they don't always turn out like the real thing. So yeah. The next thing I have is this Naked 3 Urban Decay brush set. Also, I have a lot of brushes, but I do not use them. And this is what they look like. And I use some of these. I use like one or two of these brushes in my flashback was real video. If you saw that. The next thing I have here is a another eyeshadow palette. And this is from BH Cosmetics. Um, this is the 88 color shadow palette. And I use this one a lot. This was actually the first makeup palette that I had. And I am still holding on to it. Have not hit pan yet. So that's um a plus and now i'm just digging up more bh cosmetic brushes um like i said they are all spread out in here okay, so these are all my wait 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 for it wait for it these are all my bh cosmetic brushes and i'm pretty sure there are more um in this box but these are all the ones that i digged up for now so, so next, more brushes, more brushes, guys, but these are not BH Cosmetics. These are, this is the NYX Professional Makeup Drop Foundation Brush. 
that I got. I got this when I was in DC a long time ago and I used this to apply my makeup because I do not like the beauty blender because I hate dabbing my face. I would rather just go in with the brush and do what I need to do. So these are two Mary Kay brushes that I have. Don't know what they're used for. I use it for to I use it to apply powder and blush. This is what I use them for. And I also have this um Mac Mac brush. Um one it says Mac 120. And I use this for blush also. I'm probably using it for the wrong things because I buy makeup brushes all the time and have no idea what to actually use them for. And I just use whatever, you know, works best. The next thing I have is this Naked 3 Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. And no, I told the story. Wait, did I? I'm not really sure because I got these a long time ago. This palette and the um, BH Cosmetics and I use this one a lot. It's also neutral. Y'all, all my eyeshadow colors are neutral except for the Impress You palette. And I used this one all the time until I got the BH palette. So, I need to start using that one again. So, now, all the brushes. Wait. Yeah. So, now all my brushes are out the way we can get in with the makeup makeup so the makeup that i'm about to show you i have a few blush and a few eyeshadows and lip products and eyebrows just like the main face and i also had this baby powder in here because i wanted to see if it'll work as setting powder and it did not work this is actually what i used in the flashback reel was video and that's why i had the flashback because i used a freaking baby powder do not use it do not so the next thing that I have that I'm going to show you guys is something that I absolutely love and adore. It is my Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 380. And I think I've gotten too light for this foundation because um, when I apply it is darker and it, it blends in but it doesn't blend in like I would like it to and it does oxidize. So, I think I should go back and get a lighter shade for the winter, even though the winter is almost over. But, you guys, I love this product so much that when I finish using it, I slip it right back in the box because Rihanna made it glass. And I am clumsy, and if I dropped that foundation, it would be the end. No more, no more. So, the next thing I have is this NYX Pro Filter Finishing Powder. Um, this is um, sand um, the number is 12 not sure how to read that but I also I use this after um, I apply all my makeup I go in with I go in with this BH cosmetics brush and you know I go in there dab it off and apply it to my face so, yeah the next thing I have um, I have a couple of eyeshadows in here. Um, Guylons, I think that is how you pronounce it. But I got these eyeshadows from, um, I got these when I was in 8th grade. My friend Alexis had a sleepover. And I still use those because those are good. I'm telling you, they are the bomb.com. And the next thing I have is this blush from Guylon that also came in the little briefcase. And I don't really use blush that much because I don't know how to apply without looking like a clown, y'all. And it's, it just takes practice and I have not been practicing. So speaking of blush, I also have this Clinique Chubby Stick Cheek Color Balm. And this is in the color Roly Poly Rosy. And it looks like this. Roly Poly Rosy. Um, this is the inside of it. And it's um, a cream, which I'm starting not to like creams anymore because I found I found out when I apply them and blend it out, it goes away. It just soaks into my skin, and you know that's not good. This is from Mary Kay, and this is also another blush that I dropped and it broke, but um, I haven't thrown it out because 
the pieces are together so I'm gonna have to fix that somehow I don't know also use that this is the only thing that I use that's creamy and it actually shows up on my face y'all I promise you so the next thing I have I'm going to show you guys this brush that I use to apply my foundation sometimes I got this from TJ Maxx and it does work and I have this um, sponge from NYX and I use this sometimes it's just I use all my stuff it just depends on how I'm feeling that day and what um i actually see out of this whole tin so as you can see it's halfway gone yeah it's halfway gone and so next i am going to show you guys this beyond perfect powder foundation plus concealer um it's two in one and this is also from clinique and it's in the shade 18 and it's sand now this is this was Clinique's new packaging. I don't know if they changed it yet or what, but um, before I actually started using foundation, I used Clinique's pressed powder. The next thing I have is this um, NYX Perfect. Okay, I have this NYX Epic Ink Liner, and this is waterproof. This is um, yeah, it's black and it's a felt tipped. And this is an eyeliner, and I just got eyeliner because I like eyeliner but can never use it because I have sensitive eyes. And when I put it on my eyes, I always like to start all the way up here. And it's just hard to apply because I do have sensitive eyes. But this is my NYX eyeliner. The next couple of products are going to be NYX, so beware. Uh, uh, uh. 